How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Reaper blog video. MPL recently updated his RS5K manager to version 4. Today we're going to take a look. Let's go. So starting from the beginning, what is RS5K? What is RS5K manager and how do you get it? So RS5K is also known as uh, Reaper's built-in sampler. So if we right click on a empty spot of the TCP or go to the insert menu, we can find insert virtual instrument on a track. And one of the instruments in this list is the Kako's Resamplematic 5000, RS5K. So this is just a very basic sampler. This can be used for drums and this can be used for more melodic instruments. And this is kind of like an old school style sampler where if you play a low note, it stretches it longer. And if you play a high note, it stretches it, it shrinks it shorter. It changes the pitch based on changing the speed. Turning this into a multi-sampled instrument or uh, turning this into a full drum kit gets pretty complicated. There's a lot of these windows you have to manage and RS5K Manager aims to make that more simple. That's RS5K as the instrument. This comes with Reaper. You don't need to download anything extra. RS5K Manager is a script and a script is a mod for Reaper made by someone in the community usually. Some scripts are just simple kind of text files that you can add in through the action list and others need to be downloaded. And usually the best way to manage that is through Repack. Repack is again, another, not a script, but an extension, again, sort of like a mod. And that uh, is a package manager or a download manager. If you ever played like Skyrim or something like that, there's mod managers you can download, install and update really easily through a mod manager. And that's what Repack is for Reaper. So I have Repack already installed. And if I go to browse packages and search for MPL uh, RS 5K, there are various scripts here that can be downloaded and installed. Any of the ones here with the, the letter I in this first column means that it's already installed. RS 5K manager is the file to download but really I would just install everything through repack. I just install everything. If we go to manage repositories, MPLs scripts come sort of pre configured in repack as one of the default, uh, repositories and then setting your options to install new packages when synchronizing will get you everything. That's what I do. Haven't had an issue. I just talked about that stuff so that everyone is caught up. A lot of times people get frustrated because I'm talking about something that they haven't seen before and I'm treating it like everyone should know. I will have links to everything in the description of the video. All right, so to call up RS5K manager, we're gonna type in RS5K. Script is called RS5K manager background.lua. We're going to run this and we can close the action list. All right, so this window comes up and this is a brand new build of RS5K manager. It's looked different over the years. I've got a previous video, I think from version one, it's now in version four. This window is somewhat dynamic uh, based on what track is selected and the size of the window. There's some basic instructions in here. Select parent track, it will be parent for drum rack. Once parent track is selected, drum rack is ready to, for adding samples to it. Drop samples to pad from OS browser or Media Explorer to pad. RS5K manager will automatically initialize all needed routing setup. All right. So, uh, and if you need help, there is a link here to go to the help uh, page on the Kakos forum. Again, I'll have a link in the description. So we're just going to add in a new track. And when it's selected, we see this sort of drum rack style view. If I click away, that hides. So it's, it's context sensitive and we can do things like changing which octaves are displayed just by clicking or dragging in here. We can choose which sort of section of the keyboard or drum pad we're using. To add some files, we're going to the view menu and then media explorer. If you've never seen media explorer, this is a file browser that comes with Reaper. This is great for auditioning loops and samples, uh, creating databases of files from many different folders, an amazing way to organize your content. I've just got some samples here uh, that I recorded and I'm just gonna drop them in. So I can take this sound and if I wanna hear it, I can press uh, spacebar. 
Okay, and I'll just drag and drop that to C2. Now we see more controls here. Let's hide the Media Explorer for now. With this highlighted, we have various controls here. We can change the color. I don't particularly like this cyan color, but we can just change that. There's a built-in color picker that's very easy to use. There is controls for gain and tuning, attack, decay, sustain, release. And these are all uh, sort of a simplified version of the RS5K sampler, right? Same controls. We can see them move when we adjust them in the script, but it's just easier to manage across multiple tracks, across multiple samples in one spot. In addition to this sample being loaded or visible within the, the manager, we also got several new tracks that were added automatically. So this first track was what was selected before. I'm just gonna rename this drums. Here's the track for the RS5K sampler uh, loaded with that kick drum sample. And then the next track is the MIDI bus, which is where all the MIDI channels are routed. Um, so if you have a keyboard controller, uh, it should be coming through. Mine doesn't wanna work at this moment. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. So now my MIDI controller is, is controlling that pad. We have a mute, solo, and a play button, or audition button there. Once the sample is loaded, there's a second row of controls. So if I click here, you see just this, the single row of controls, and then a loaded sample has a secondary set of controls. We can control samples, uh, choosing different samples from the, uh, the same library. So now this is a clap sample. If we go to boundary, we can set the start and end points of these. Under effects, we can set a filter, just a basic filter. Choosing a filter here, let's say low pass, we come over to the track effects. We can see that there's a, now a re -EQ and a wave shaping distortion added. Wave shaping distortion is for this drive control. Let's pop that open and I increase the drive here, and that's increasing the distortion amount. So it increases the gain a lot, uh, but it's just, you know, something convenient that you can do. And now for the low pass, let's open up this window. But again, you don't have to have this window open for this to work. But here's what happens when I. I'm adjusting the low pass frequency. So all this stuff works, whether you're floating the, the window or not. And ideally you can do everything you need from the RS5K manager. Under the device page, we can layer samples with this. So let's do that. We got a clap in there. So let's add in the snare. So we'll drop this into the device section and now there are two samples in the one pad. So clicking this check mark chooses which one is, is sort of uh, available for editing. In the tracks, this is now changed. So this, uh, what was just a single track for a single sample is now a folder track with two tracks, two child tracks. And so there's the first sample and the second sample in there. And these are completely independent and we can adjust the volume here. And this is changing the track volume actually. Linking multiple sections of Reaper together within one manager, just to make things a little bit easier for you. So if we wanna clear a pad, reset it back to normal, we can right click and then this window pops up. We have controls for importing as an instrument, importing selected items starting on this pad or remove pad content. Remove pad content will reset it to default. And as I do that, all the additional tracks have disappeared. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly add in some samples that I know that I like and drop them into the various pads and close that. And so now I've got a bit of a multi, uh, not multi-layer, but multiple drum instruments within sort of one instrument. So there is a choke group 
system. So if I go to the effects page and then enable choke group one here, um, that, I don't know if it's working, <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to uh, basically mute hi-hat or, or end the open hi-hat when the uh, closed hi-hat happens. I might have to actually set that to obey note off. That seems to work, but I also need to purposely have a long note for the open hi-hat. I don't know if that's working exactly the way it's supposed to, um, but yeah, just kind of reporting how it is at the moment. All right, so if I want to record, this is already set up for that. This MIDI bus track is set up. Uh, it has all MIDI inputs selected. It has the track record armed and monitor enabled. All the MIDI is routed to the various tracks. So from tracks two through six, uh, all the different samples that I have here. So rather than recording on each individual track, one MIDI file that contains all the notes for the performance. I'll just hit record. It's probably not going to be good, but you know, oh well. Yeah, I already went out of time, but you know, proof of concept here, just record and edit within here. And one of the great things about this being a script for Reaper is it can automatically do things like get the names of the samples on the piano roll. I love that. Uh, there's so many great benefits of using this. Um, if you're already using RS5K, this is a no brainer. Add this into your workflow. It's so worth it. Now you, you probably notice as I move this around over a docked area, the docked area turns black and that's for docking the, uh, the instrument. So I can go over to the center one. It's going to fill this area. I can go over to one of the side pieces here, and then that's going to snap into the left portion of this dock. If we want to undock it, right click and down here at the bottom, super, super small, but undock. And we can now float this again and grab the, grab this. So if I grab it and drag it to the center, that's going to, again, just fill this area. Now that reminds me, I want to show you one other, one other thing for like resizing and, and such. If we resize this window, there's a handle on the bottom right, uh, various things will, will show and hide depending on the size of this. So if we have the super small, we've got the sort of octave selection and the drum pads, but no details for any of the uh, indiv individual instruments. If we widen this, that's going to show uh, all the settings as well. And uh, if it's sort of this shape, it, the octaves change uh, until we widen it again. Coming over to the settings page, we have functions like stick current rack to this project. You know how if, if we were deselecting the, the main track, the, the controls would change? We can kind of force it to, to stay there. So if I unselect a track, the controls inside of RS5K Manager do not change. But if I uncheck this, again, it goes back to that sort of tutorial page. There's functions for what happens when we add a sample. Do we float the RS5K instance? Do we copy the samples to the project path? Do we set obey note off? Uh, this was on by default. Do we rename the track? We drop on white keys only, and there's a custom template file. Options for the TCP and MCP, collapsing parent folder, super collapsing parent folder, hiding the children from the TCP or MCP, uh, setting the new child track height. And then there are two different layouts. So there is a, there's a two octave key keyboard layout or a drum rack layout. There's a default playing velocity, uh, sending note off when the mouse is, is, re is released. So to wrap this all up, this is a really great update to RS5K Manager. I haven't been using RS5K Manager a lot because I do have other uh, drum samplers that I use more than RS5K. If you're on a budget you don't, or you haven't uh, invested in other instruments, Easy Drummer, 
XO, Speed Drum, so many different instruments out there, but if you're just using Reaper stock stuff, this is a great addition. So thank you MPL for your hard work on updating this. It looks fantastic. Thank you so much for watching. You can support this channel by becoming a channel member on YouTube or becoming a patron at patreon.com slash the Reaper blog. Links will be down below. You can follow me on Facebook or Blue Sky. I'm not on X or Twitter anymore. Uh, fuck that guy. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.